Hello everybody, we're back with more of our rivet training for our commercial building. We started it and we're closing it out now. We're getting into the electrical. I know a little bit about this. <laughs> but uh, basically we've got all our jars set up. So now we've got all of our sheets set up, ready to go. I created all these, got my systems and everything ready to go. So now I had a few little issues with the uh, 2023. Uh, okay, so anyway, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to talk about distribution system. So right now we want to be in our, yes, we want to be in our level one floor plan for power. So let's make sure we go there. Okay, we're here. This is our level one power plan. And so what we do, what we do here is uh, we first need our panel. So I've got this panel board here. I've picked that out already out of the uh, library, the Autodesk uh, Cloud Library. And so what happens is you can see this is our panel. And we've got connectors on it just like we would use in um, uh, um, mechanical or, or, or piping, basically. So now, the first thing you want to do here when you go on a system, when you look at electrical, just like plumbing and mechanical, um, you have electrical settings here. So now what we need to do uh, in electrical, uh, we need to create a distribution system. And here under the settings, if I select this, this is the distribution system. As you can see, the name, you got things like voltage, and things is that and that, and that. So we got if we select this one, that's the settings. And then you have different settings here, but for our practical purpose, we want to deal with electrical distribution. So now if you select this panel, then we need to go into our uh, our project, our properties. And what you can see here is all this information. We, uh, we got the uh, mark. And we got maximum number of poles. I think this one, I think this one should be 42. So let's go here. Let's see if we can change this here. I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to see if I can change this to maximum number of poles. This is only 100 amp. Oh, we need something bigger than that. Uh, wow. We need 400 amp here. Let me go OK. Should have duplicated that. Yep, uh, number of posts 12. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to 42. Just because I think I can. So we change this to 42. And then we'll scroll down here and we'll give this a panel. We'll give this a name. We'll just call this. Uh, this will be panel one. Simple enough. So this is kind of like with one of the first things you would need to do when you're doing electrical. Get the panel, the distribution in order. Uh, now I'm going to take that off. Say okay. Now we got our panel here and our distribution set up. So now. Uh, here you just want to go into says device and then we'll say electrical device and then I'll just lay out these receptacles here. Uh, repetitious thing again, I'll get you started and give you a little few more pointers about uh, what you're doing here. Pretty simple. We got one there in that wall. And now one other thing here we've got over here, this is our our gallon, our, our 40 gallon water tank, which you really don't need to see. But here with this family here, this is a uh, combination starter switch. Uh, I could not find these in the 2023 uh, library. I had to go backwards and get this. So if you have any issues with that family finding it, it, it that's what I, I, I got an old one. Or I think you might be able to get away to placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead and on and keep laying these out. So basically, it's just you go here to uh, 
device and then you will go like uh, I'm gonna just do my electrical for now because all of our power is going to go here this is something over there Get one I mean you know the deal just pop them in it's probably the easiest thing you can do here uh, and then now uh, we will go here into our conference room and now the furniture is good because we can see where we need to put other devices so for this room I'm going to see if I can find a floor mounted device here uh oh let's see I'm going to go and see if I can find that again okay now I'm going to see if I can find a floor mounted receptacle Gun distribution. I don't see it. So what I'll do, I'll look around for it. I've been having a lot of little issues with the uh, clean receptacle. Wait a minute, clear receptacle. What's that? Okay. Here we go, duplex. So anyway, I'm gonna investigate that. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but you get the idea. Um, get our receptacles in here. And then again, you just go in here to where it says systems, devices, electrical device. I'll just place one there for now. There, and then you got your kitchen here. You can go and say switch this to GFCI, which is probably, yep. Put one maybe there. Or here by the fridge, or something like that. And then go back to your standard. Just that simple. Boom. Probably put, no, I'm good. Go here. And here. So we always use the furniture in here to make sure that we know where we're putting things, basically. Otherwise, we don't really need it. So there's one there. Now the little question marks are the circuit numbers when we start adding circuits. So we'll do that. Um, I know everybody's getting ready to get out. The holidays is coming, so I want to get this done, finish this whole project off. Uh, that one there, that one. So I'm going to knock this level out for the power, and then I'll come back and show you all how to do the lighting and the system. Well, we'll do the circuit next. We'll do a power circuit. So, hey, guys, there's the... Actually, we need a GFCI in the bathroom, too. Uh, let's say right here. And you can just do this. Actually, you can go... Change that to GFCI. And I'll just mirror that across. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. Or we'll look at distribution systems. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.